Welcome to EpiInfo 7 training. In this video, you'll learn to access a Microsoft SQL Server database using the Visual Dashboard. We'll start by accessing the Visual Dashboard by clicking the Visual Dashboard button here on the EpiInfo main page. In the Visual Dashboard, you have three ways to read data into EpiInfo 7. First, is to click Set a Data Source at the top of the page. Second is to click Set a Data Source Now in the blue box in the middle of the page. And last, you can right-click in the empty space of the dashboard and select Set Data Source here at the top of the box. I'm going to click Set Data Source here. And now, in the Database Type drop-down, I'll choose Microsoft SQL Server Database and I'll browse for the data source. You can either type in the name of your server or you can browse to find it. The server I need is here, so I'll choose it and click OK. I'll type the database name and choose my authentication method and click OK. I'll choose the data source and click OK. And now EpiInfo 7 is ready to analyze the data. At the top of the page you'll see the name of the data source and the number of records in that data source. We'll do a quick analysis. I'll right click on the dashboard, navigate to Add Analysis Gadget, and choose Frequency. The Frequency Properties I'll choose is City. And notice there are too many distinct values in the variable City. So I'll choose another variable. I'll choose County. And now EpiInfo 7 has the data for me. I can move the gadget around on the dashboard and add another if I choose. Or I can simply close this gadget. The next time you open Visual Dashboard and want to read the same data file, simply click Set Data Source and choose the name of the data from the Recent Data Sources drop-down menu. You'll get more detail from future performance support videos. 